I'm going to have to say this really quietly. I'm going to give you one guess what's just happened. Another puncture. And it's Mike. Well, it's the 2nd of January, 2022. And I've just completed a ride. And I've been out with a couple of new cyclists. They're new to my circle anyway. So I've been out with Gary, Nick and Mike came along. And we started back there about three or four hours ago. And guess what? I've come back on my own. Um, it was torrential rain back there. And I mean raining. I had to put the waterproofs on. And I've cycled back on my own. So they must have taken a different route back. But I had a cracking ride. It all started over there. Like I said, a few hours ago. And here's the video. So let's have a look at the map where we're going to ride today. And that's where we're based in the United Kingdom. But let's take a look at the route profile in more detail today. And living in the Pennines, it's always going to be a hilly ride and you can see that highlighted in green there. And we were starting today in the small village of Barrowford, which is in Lancashire, not too far from Burnley. We ended up cycling to Settle, and we'll come back to that later. And the aim today was to cycle to Elaine's Tea Room in Faisor, in the Yorkshire Dales National Park. And so right from the start, highlighted in pink there from Barrowford, we had the climb of the A682, up over Black Oak, which took us then to Gisburn, and eventually on towards Wigglesworth. And then the next section, highlighted in blue, which is where the loop is, is what you might call the sweet spot of the ride, where we cycle through some absolutely stunning countryside. So the ride distance today was 51.5 miles, with an elevation gain of 4,089 feet. The weather, well that proved to be a major factor today, it started out pretty fair, but ended up being extremely wet. The ride time was 3 hours and 20 minutes, and we managed a maximum speed of 41.6 miles per hour, which wasn't too bad given the conditions. But anyway, let's get back to the ride, where we're about to take on the climb of the A682, into Black Hole. I'm a cyclist! And I live in the Pennines, and welcome to my channel. And I'm out on a ride today, and we started in Barraford down there. This is Black Hole behind me. Been invited out, and we're thinking we're going to go towards Ingleton. So come on, let's go and do a ride. I cannot believe this. The king of black puddings has got another puncture. We're feeling a bit deflated. We've been going about two miles. So before I forget, Happy New Year, people. You recognise that cafe? Hamish's cafe. We came here in October, I think, was it September? But here comes the group of cyclists now just coming up. Hey up, hey up. Hey up. I don't think I've actually ridden with them yet. <laughs> and so here we are now, just cresting the summit of the A682. This is Gisburn Road. And this was the highest point of the ride today. It's 1,021 feet above sea level. So having gone over the crest as a group, the views ahead were absolutely amazing. You can see the whole of the Yorkshire Dales. And just moving further down the road, we've got Gary going to the front. We've got no vehicles behind us, so we could use a lot of the tarmac. There's Nick on his lovely green bike there. And we're actually carrying a lot of good speed here. You see Nick tucking in there into the aero position where Gary maintains the pace on the front. And we were cruising at around 38 to 39 miles per hour. And on this descent today, there was lots of cross winds with air buffeting around your wheels. So we had to be careful. And I must stress, we weren't racing at this point. We are just enjoying a good descent in our local hills. On your right. I come through here. Just tucked back in there behind Gary. This is a nice little section where, if you notice, I can come straight back in. Just get behind Gary, get the benefit of the draft in and come through nice and easy. And it was on this section of the road where we maxed out at over 41 miles per hour today. And so having made our way from the highest point of the ride today, we was approaching the lowest point where we meet the River Ribble, which is at 311 feet in the valley below. Now this is locally called Garlic Wood, but it's actually called Mill Lane. And in the early parts of summer, you can really smell the garlic on the air. Now this is quite a tricky descent. We've got a very uneven road surface, you've got potholes in places, and grids where you really don't need them to be. And not forgetting, it was a very wet road surface, with decaying rotting leaves everywhere. So while we was approaching this bridge, it was time to have a quick look at the River Ribble, because it was looking pretty high. 
to look, catch a bit of that. So we've just come down Garlic Wood. Now whenever I come around here, I can always smell wild garlic, especially in May. The River Ribble's behind us, and that is looking pretty good right now. There's a lot of water going through there. But I can't keep stopping and filming all the time. I've got to keep up with the riders. So we we're about nine miles into the ride here, heading down Carter's Lane, working our way towards Helifield Road, with Wigglesworth and Rathmel ahead of us. I'm going to have to say this really quietly. I'm going to give you one guess what's just happened. Another puncher, and it's Mike. <laughs> we're on the way to settle now. Decided we're going to try and get some tyres for Mike because they're letting him down way too many times. And so having left Rathmill behind us, we went down this great little descent where we were cruising at around 33 to 34 miles per hour, where we soon caught up to three more cyclists. Now this is a classic cycling lane, well used by a lot of bike riders. And we're not far from the A65, and we're never too far from the River Ribble, as we make our way to our settle through the lovely little village of Giggleswick. Okay, we're 18 miles in. Not bad, 17.1 mile an hour. And we're at Giggleswick, just outside Settle. And let's have a look at the river. Look at that, there's the River Ribble again. We're further upstream. That's fantastic. Right, Mike, what we're doing here? Um, is it a bike shop? No, well, it's just, a bike shop, isn't it? No, yeah, just, just having a look. Anything in particular? No, darling, no. Okay. <laughs> just, uh, just thought we'd have a look while we're here. All right. Bike talk. Chris is a bike mechanic. Chris? It's Gary. It's called Gary. We kept calling him Chris, Chris all the time. I've been, I've been calling him Chris all the time. He's called Gary. I've been calling him Chris for hours, haven't I? By someone called Chris. So Chris has just said it's Garlic Hill or Garlic Wood. I think what you've been calling me. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> you put your inner tubes in the bin. Just saying, we can't call Gary Chris anymore. No. Yeah? Yeah, we'll have to call that out. And we're going to call Mick Nick. Yeah, Nick Nick. We've got that bit, haven't we? These are fantastic cycling country lanes. And just came through our stick. Nice little dinky climb here. Just wait for Gary. Heading to a place called Fizor. Is that the name of the Covid booster? How's it going then? Knackering. Knackering. <sighs> Lovely though, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. I saw the cafe stop was next. This was at 28 miles and it's called Elaine's Tea Rooms. So unfortunately on this clip, the audio let me down and I was just talking about how appreciative we were for being invited out on this ride by Gary and Nick. I was also making references to some of the lanes we'd cycled down, which are part of the Way of the Roses, and that I'd cycled around here many times before. But let's get inside the cafe for a brew. Yeah, I've got a mask up. Hiya! So what do you want to put in mate? Are you happy with that? Yeah. What I'm do not. you reckon? Can you...? Oh, no. the not, right. not right. Not right. Yeah, yeah. Where's my black pudding? Yeah, black pudding. Oh, you oh, you get two eggs on there. Mm -hmm. Double eggs. The little cafe that's filming, right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the camera over there. Then we're going to go to the bikes and we're going to cycle that way. And then come but, back and get the camera. But do you, go past the camera. All oh, right. Yeah, don't stop and say, Daz, you left your camera. All oh, right. Got yeah? Daz, yeah. You got the script? So it's it's like, keep, just, just yeah, keep going. Yeah, got got you. Yeah. Well, that was a cracking little cafe in the heart of the Yorkshire Dales. We've actually covered 28 miles so far. That's not bad. 
hopefully the route back is going to be just as good as the route to get here. Well, guess what? It started raining, but we're used to the rain by now. However, I don't like this bike getting dirty, so that's my afternoon taken care of. I'll be in the garage with the baby wipes later on. As you can see now, we're in a deluge. Classic back lane, this for cycling on. Slade burn to the right fork, Clitheroe to the left. We're going to go left, I think. We're on um, 38 mile. It's gone really grey. I mean, you do need lights on now, I'd say. We've all got lights, more or less, all of us. So, yeah, by the time I get back to the car, I will be drenched, but it, it's not cold. It's not warm, but the layers... But as the rain came down, I decided it was time to put the raincoat on. I'll catch you up. And it was from this point where I ended up cycling the rest of the ride on my own all the way back to Barraford. It's frost. It's wild. I'm getting my rain jacket on because it's really, really coming down now. <laughs> Look at it. Believe it or not, that's a great view over there. Come on, let's go that way, let's catch them up. I mean, my bike's got that much oil on it, it's just made it off. Too. I've been going like Billy O to catch them up. I don't know where they are. Here's Michael Welcome to the O2. So yeah, I'm on the climb now, back up to Black Oak. I had to put the waterproof on. So unless the guys are going a different route, um, I thought I'd have caught them up. So I'm going to crack on now. They're either behind me on a different lane or they're way up there somewhere. Well, that's the summit of the A682. 48 mile in. I still can't see the guys. It's kind of stopped raining a bit though now. Oh, it was wild. So here we are on the final leg, the final descent. A couple of miles to get back to the car. And the headwind made it quite tough going. Coming through Black O here. You've always got to be careful on this section because you've got a lot of cars. It's a built up area but you're carrying a lot of speed. But we made it back safely in one piece. Anyway, <laughs> the guys are here. <laughs> right, before I forget, this is Nick. This is Gary. This is Black Pudding Man. <laughs> and so, yes, we all met up, more or less at the same time, back at Barraford. And there's the route that they took back highlighted on the map. And what a great day out we had, and I'm sure we'll do this again. Don't call me Chris. Don't call... Come on, Gary, keep going. I was only joking. I know it's called Gary. 
So we're out with Chris and Nick. For taking us on a ride into the Yorkshire Dales. We're thinking we're, we're but on a Oh, shut up! Good little cafe, that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that way, this way. Well, all I can say, I've done this every day on the Rapper 500, so it's only another day. No, no, no. I thought you'd got a puncture or something. I just... No, I thought that. I said to uh, Gary, I said, right, I'm getting changed. Um, yeah. I'm going to get me waterproof jacket on. But then it were a deluge, so I filmed it. You know, like I do. Yeah. And I thought, well, I'll catch you up. She's absolutely pounding down. Yeah. I was just following Nick. And then Gary dropped off a little bit and yeah. got a bit lumpy. And then we looked behind and we were like, oh, yeah. where's Gav? Where's Gav? So I tried phoning you. Yeah, I but can't. You, with you my can't gloves on. No. The thing is, when you. I knew that with Gary he was struggling, I thought I can I can afford to take my time, get my coat yeah, on, get put back in. So I thought yeah, you took a different route. Yeah. Yeah. So uh yeah.